kids want to know. Plants are all around us. Almost all these plants come from seeds. Ever wonder how a plant grows from just a single seed? Seeds come in all shapes and sizes, from very small to very large. Let's take a closer look at this bean seed. Seeds have a protective outer layer called a seed coat. The seed coat protects the seed from predators, bad weather, or drying out. If we look inside the seed, we can see that most of the seed is made up of the seed's food, called endosperm. The endosperm is colored yellow. Endosperm is mostly made up of oils, sugars, or proteins. In the middle of all of this endosperm is the baby plant. Just like an adult plant, the baby plant has one or two seed leaves, or cotyledons, a stem, and a root. Under the right conditions, this baby plant inside this seed will sprout into a seedling. This is called germination. Most seeds need to be planted into soil, get lots of water, air, and sunlight to germinate. The water from the soil moistens the seed food, and the baby plant begins to use the food to germinate. The root from the baby plant will grow downward from the seed and start soaking up water from the soil. When it's absorbed enough water, the shoot will grow upwards from the seed and into the air above the soil. The plant uses its roots to get water and nutrients from the soil and uses its leaves to catch sunlight and air to make its own food to keep growing. This is called photosynthesis. When the bean grows into an adult or mature plant, it produces a flower, which then turns into a fruit or a bean pod. Inside this pod are new bean seeds, ready to be planted again. Did you know some plants, like ferns and mosses, don't grow from seeds? Seeds can travel using the wind, water, or by animals. The biggest seed in the world is the sea coconut, which can grow up to 30 centimeters tall and weigh as much as a kindergartner. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.